First time leaving my body. Ah, my first DXM trip. It almost killed me. I could have easily died. Straight up, it was very incredible that I experienced no real harm that I know of. At just 18 years old, I was completely heart set on having a big profound psychedelic experience. I had a little experience with ecstasy, a handful of LSD trips under my belt, I had drank, I had smoked impressive amounts of weed already in my life, but I was looking for more I suppose. One way or another, I failed to get any traditional psychedelics and inadvertently stumbled across a video about DXM. I wasn't sure about it at first, but eventually the idea of being able to buy a hallucinogenic drug at almost any of the local stores at practically any time of the day started to seem way too good to be true. I had to try it for myself. I watched the video again and decided that I was going to be a hero. I tried the fourth plateau on my first ever robo trip. I calculated out my dose with an online calc. It came to about 1100 milligrams. I chose to use the Robitussin cough gels so I ended up getting 5 boxes. My dumbass chose to trip on this substance for the first time at a party. A flipping shindig, fool bro smoking weed, drinking beer, and hanging out playing video games all while blasting hip hop and party music. I dosed just before actually entering the house. We all started the way we normally would, in a big circle passing around hella blunts. I got absolutely fried before the trip even started. We were only smoking for about 30 minutes when I went full exorcist mode and projectile vomited bright crimson puke all over the coffee table in the middle of our circle. I felt like my stomach wanted to eject itself up and out through my ribcage. I scurried to the back porch and continued heaving and getting sick for 20 minutes, no joke. I cleaned myself off and noticed I felt so weird and different, much more social and very relaxed. I rejoined the group but within a half hour I was back hurling off the porch. I was exhausted and dizzy when I finally finished being sick so I stumbled over to an empty couch and lay down on it. I felt as if I was dying, I was shivering, sweating, I couldn't see my two feet in front of my face, and the music sounded like an insanely loud Game Boy track. Then, nothing, total blackness. The music faded into a quieter, slower, and more calm, muffled version of itself. My subconscious went silent. Then my perception darted through this colossal tunnel made of slow, swirling, double helix rings of various colors. I wasn't surprised or shocked, it seemed totally normal to me. My consciousness slowed down and gently floated through the tunnel. Eventually I met two silhouette style geometric entities, one purple and one yellow. They reminded me of people in morph suits or like people in an abstract painting. They each took one of my hands, leading me to this incomprehensible, massive, planetary sized labyrinth. The yellow character glided around and acted like an excited kid exploring a playground, while the purple dude slowly stumbled back and forth, occasionally stretching or sitting down. Neither of them said a word, they didn't even have mouths, but I knew in my mind that both of them were versions of my inner self depending on my mood or environment. It makes me reminisce of the movie Inside Out in a weird way. When I woke up to the physical world, I was still severely intoxicated, probably high second plateau. I couldn't believe only three hours had passed since I laid down on the couch. After stumbling around feeling mentally handicapped for about two hours, I swept off the rest of the experience. I can still vividly picture the world I visited and painfully reimagine how awful I felt before I lost contact with my body. I should have actually went to the hospital, if not via ambulance, at least the next morning in case I had detectable signs of damage. I question if my stomach or liver healed entirely. I wonder if I had a seizure or something similar when I look back at the way I felt. I really can't stress enough how incredibly harmful excessiveness is when you get involved with DXM, any drug really, but DXM in particular is so readily available that this easily becomes a serious issue. Danger is a real risk either through huge doses that granted probably don't kill you but definitely aren't good for you, or through using them too often and forming a habit. DXM to me is more of a hard drug than I ever anticipated.